it's Jesse and MJ, and we have taken it on the road to, as you can see, a real working kitchen, yeah. a huge kitchen that that I'm coveting a little bit. Yeah, um, we're, we're over here at Ladyfingers Catering. They were kind enough to let us invade their kitchen uh, and borrow Chef Marty over here. Uh, you know, right on uh, the eve of Thanksgiving. You know, we thought we, it would be great to start out because we're going to try to cook a turkey. I've never cooked a turkey. We talked about this. He's 30 years old, and then we found out he's not alone. A lot of people are still eating at families, and yeah. you don't have to cook a turkey. I've cooked a bunch of turkeys, and I'm quite sure Chef Marty here has had a few of them as well. So we're going to kind of see what gonna, happens with Jesse. Yeah, but we're, before that, I wanted to I wanted to pick your brain a little bit. You know, there's a lot of people like me that not only have never cooked a turkey, but have never done th the Thanksgiving meal at their home. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give for somebody who's maybe hosting their first Thanksgiving and doing the bulk of the cooking? More cooking and less hosting. <laughs> <laughs> Let someone else do that yes. if you're cooking. Oh, yeah, most I understand people, that. Most people usually burn their first Thanksgiving. Yeah. Year. Now, yeah. is that just like time management or? Time management, time management. So would you recommend doing, you know, much of the cooking the day before or? Some of it you can get away mm -hmm. with, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, but that's... like the turkey, it's got to go in that morning. Oh, yeah, it does. Because, I mean, if it's not hot and, and ready and everybody's waiting and your potatoes are getting cold. My mom yes. has this down pat, by the way. Right. So Now, size-wise, for an average family of, say, mm -hmm. six, how big of a turkey should we look for? Uh, about 12 to 14 pounds. So, so I, in my house of three, that's about right. <laughs> But when you're going to look for a turkey, like, what do you look for? Because, I mean, I'm just like, I'm like, that one looked like it put up a fight. You know, whatever, no, I'm going to take no, no, that no. one. I mean, well, what, you, what should you look for? You you either want frozen or fresh. You want a bone-in turkey. You could get a turkey, a boneless turkey mm -hmm. breast. Uh, uh, it's just basically figuring out if you want fresh, frozen, or and how many pounds you want. Now, eat. when it comes to poundage, so now how many pounds did you say per person? It's usually, you figure about a pound to eight. Okay, so double that for my family. That's good. Just I know, like just yours. like mine. It's, it's um, nice. And if you get frozen, you got to look at time for thawing. Yes, yeah, that was. That's I've seen thaw. Christmas vacation enough to know yeah. that if you don't thaw it out, <laughs> that's what it looks like. It will be burnt before it's done.